Hey guys, my name is Megan. I'm with Uncruise Adventures. I'm an expedition leader for them. I've been a guide and expedition leader for six years with Uncruise. I absolutely love what we do. I love everything about my job. And I especially love starting my days with morning stretch. All right, so we're gonna start in a nice, comfortable seated position. You can have your ankles lined up one in front of the other. You could cross your legs. You could go into what we call the half lotus where you pick up one foot, cross it over the opposite thigh. You could sit on your knees with your feet a little bit spread out if that feels more comfortable for you. Uh, and like I said, you could sit on something to raise your hips up. So I prefer the heel to heel method as kind of my comfortable seat. So once you've found your comfortable seat, have a nice sit and let, like, let your spine go real long and just sit up nice and tall. Close your eyes, hands on your knees, and just arrive in this moment. Try to leave all distractions behind and just give yourself this half hour to dedicate to stretching. So we're going to start with just a couple big inhales through the nose and exhales through the nose. You're going to want to try and fill that whole belly. Fill your lungs. Deep, deep inhales. So we're going to inhale to the count of five. Inhale through your nose. One, two, three, four, five. And exhale. One, two, three, four, five. And inhale. Two, three, four, five. And exhale. Two, three, four, five. Two more. Inhale. One, two, three, four, five, and exhale. Two, three, four, five. Let's do one more. Inhale. Two, three, four, five, and exhale. Two, three, four, five. Good. Now we can gently open our eyes and we're going to take a big inhale and extend our arms big up overhead extending through those fingertips my hands are going to come together they're going to push against each other as they come through heart center we're going to do four more like that inhaling big open wide really feeling the extension through those arms through those fingers pushing hands against each other as we come through the center three more like that inhaling big up and exhaling through the center Trying to focus on that breath, inhaling up, breath to movement, keeping a nice even breath in and out through the nose, exhaling through the center. And one more, inhaling up, and exhale through the center. And this time we're going to inhale our arms up, and you're going to bring your left hand to the ground or just off the chair and your right fingertips are gonna extend over. I'm pushing through that right sit bone, really trying to anchor. We're gonna do a couple arm circles. So let your arm come forward, let your head follow it coming up and looking towards that hand, letting it come in front of you and then up to the sky and over. Really getting that shoulder joint nice and warmed up and over and one more down, following my hand with my eyes and coming back into that deep side stretch. Really extending through those right fingertips over to the right. And coming up through center. Opposite side, your right hand comes down, your left fingertips reach to the side, anchor through that left sit bone, give you a nice big side stretch here. And again, let's take that hand. We're going to follow the hand with the eyes. Big up overhead, coming in front, and big overhead. Two more, big in front. You're feeling this all through the shoulder girdle, getting that shoulder joint warmed up, and up, and over to the side. Taking a nice second here for a big side stretch. All right, and let's come back up. We're gonna go to the opposite side again, coming over to the left. 
right fingertips extending over kind of letting that head go so you're not holding tension in that neck you're just letting that head hang and let's bring that right arm directly out from the right shoulder and you can bring it down to a little angle i'm letting my head hang so i'm not putting any tension in it and i'm going to turn my head down and turn my head up until i find oh there it is the sweet spot where you're really feeling a good stretch you could also play with the lit with the arm placement here higher lower for me this angle with my fingers like this and once you find your angle you're going to close your eyes and you're going to play the piano with your fingers which can feel kind of weird as it's connected all the way up to your neck but just taking some time here a couple deep breaths to let that neck start to stretch i forgot to mention in the beginning if you have any injuries at all please be mindful nothing should cause pain you should feel stretching but not pain if you have a bad neck don't do neck stretches if you have had back surgery you've been told not to twist don't twist okay we're going to take our left hand now we're going to cup our head with our left hand so my entire weight of my head is in my hand i'm using that hand and i'm going to push my head back upright <sighs> take a little breath and inhaling your arms big up overhead and let's come to the right hand side so the right hand comes down anchoring through that left sit bone right left fingertips are extending over to the side and now bringing that arm out from that shoulder so you can play with that angle and now you know from the other side turning your head it might be a different position on this side than the other side Ooh, even trying to put your arm a little bit back uh, once you find that spot close your eyes play the piano we're gonna try and take five deep inhales here focusing on that neck release all right taking your right hand cupping your head all that weight of my head I'm not going to use my neck to push my head up at all I'm just going to use my hand pushing it up to straight nice let's inhale our arms big up overhead we're going to clasp those hands and we're going to flip those hands up to the sky so I'm sitting up as tall as I can I'm trying to drop my shoulders away from my ears so I'm not here I'm here so dropping those shoulders away from the ears nice and tall just feeling the strength of that back and then you're going to bring your hands towards me chin to the chest and you're actually pushing that space out between your shoulder blades so i'm pushing through here trying to open that space getting a nice c curve to my spine and then i'm going to inhale up nice and tall and i'm going to exhale c curve to my spine as i push that spot out between my shoulder blades let's do three more like that inhale up nice and tall and exhale chin to your chest and inhale nice and tall and exhale chin to your chest and inhale nice and tall and now we're going to drop our hands behind our head and we are going to push our head into our hands and our hands into our head so i'm leaning back I'm pushing them, having force against each other, head and hands, and I'm getting a nice chest opening here. Now, if you have any neck issues, just stay right here. If you'd like a little bit more, we're gonna dip that chin to the chest. Elbows are gonna come to frame the face, but you're not gonna pull on your head. The hands are just there as a little extra weight. So we're gonna inhale open, and exhale close, chin to the chest. You should feel this in the top of the spine, nice opening between those shoulder blades. And inhaling open and exhale close inhale open if this causes you any pain when you do it don't do it exhale chin to your chest you can always just sit here like this leaning nice and back one more all right coming back up my hands are going to come back up to the sky 
And I'm gonna twist and take my left hand to my right knee, my right hand's coming behind me, and I'm looking over that right shoulder. Hand on the knee, arm behind, looking over that right shoulder, getting a nice gentle twist in my spine here. And now I'm gonna hold on with that left hand, holding on tight to that right knee. And I'm gonna take my right hand, I'm gonna have it come up like a rainbow, up and over, bringing my left ear towards my left knee as my right fingertips extend up and over. Deep breaths here, in through the nose and out through the nose. You can be doing all this in a chair. Very easy. Your legs are just not crossed. And let's come on back up. So now you can change the cross of your legs if you want to. Uh, opposite foot in front. Doesn't really matter if you don't want to. If it's not more comfortable, don't do it. Hands back up, reaching up to the sky, nice and tall again. And let's bring the right hand to the left knee, the left hand behind. Give me a nice little twist here, looking over that left shoulder. Breathing, trying to sit up nice and tall. So we're not collapsing into this. We're always having a nice tall spine. Hold on to that knee with your right hand. Left hand comes up and over like a rainbow, bringing my right ear towards my right knee. Oh gosh, that feels so good today. I haven't done this seated stretch in a while, but it's absolutely one of my favorites. And I find when I do it all the time, I have sort of a cranky low back. And if I do this all the time, it really helps with that low back pain. Coming on back up. All right, just a couple more seated. We're gonna inhale, bringing your chest through, bringing your heart through your, uh, pushing your chest towards me. So we're gonna open, so I'm really exaggerated, pushing my chest open. And then I'm gonna exhale, go into a C curve. Arms are straight. I'm bringing my chin to my chest. I'm rocking back on those sit bones. And I'm gonna inhale, sitting up nice and tall. Show you from the side. Sitting up nice and tall. Chest is coming through. And then exhale, rounding that spine into a C curve. Chin to the chest, arms are straight and holding on to those knees. And let's do three more, inhaling up. And exhaling, chin to the chest. And inhaling up. And exhale, chin to the chest. Did I say three more? I think that means one more. All right, inhaling up. And exhaling, chin to the chest. All right. So we are going to transition now onto our hands and knees. So if you need some extra padding for your knees, if you have a yoga mat, you can just flip it up here so you could get some extra padding if you, if you need that on the knees. I am just going to turn this way so that I can show you better what's going on. So we're gonna arrive in our hands and knees position, our tabletop position. My wrists are underneath my shoulders. My knees are underneath my hips. My knees are about hip width distance wide. And I've got nice straight arms. So we're gonna go into what we call cat and cow in yoga. So we're gonna inhale and drop that belly. My tailbone's going up to the sky. I'm looking up to the sky. I'm dropping my belly through center of my body, and then I'm gonna exhale my chin to my chest, rounding my spine, tucking my tailbone in, pushing through that spot between our shoulder blades, getting into a nice cat stretch. This is on the exhale. So inhale, coming through cow. So notice I'm moving very slowly to get to each pose. I wanna feel everything in between, not just rushing to get there. And we're gonna exhale, pushing into our cat, tucking that tailbone, pushing the ground away, pushing that space between my shoulder blades towards the sky. Let's do three more, inhaling, down into our cow. 
and exhaling up into our calf. And inhaling down. And exhaling up. One more, inhaling down. And exhaling up. And coming into a flat back. Bring your knees a little bit wider, your big toe mounds to touch. And we're gonna bring our seat towards our heels. So we're coming into what we call a child's pose. So my seat's towards my heels, my forehead's down on the mat, my arms are long and engaged. I'm not laying here like this. This is a very active pose. So my, my hands feel like I'm dragging the ground back towards me, so I'm pulling on those fingertips. It's okay if your bum doesn't get all the way down. This is fine too. Now we're gonna take those hands and we're gonna walk them both over to the right hand side. So staying in this position, you're gonna be pulling that left hand back towards you and you should be feeling a strong pull in that left armpit region. Breathing deep here. And let's walk them over to the opposite side, pulling through that right armpit. I'm pulling those right fingertips back towards me. And I'm going to come through center and rock myself back up to my hands and knees. Bringing my knees back to hip width distance apart. Wrists are underneath my shoulders. So I'm going to take my right foot and bring it behind me. So I'm just going to push into the ground for starters. So I'm just pushing against the ground, trying to get a bit of a calf stretch there. It can kind of help if you take your socks off so you can get a little more you can get a little more tension there. So I'm pushing into those right toes, really feeling that in the back of that right leg. And now I'm just going to lift that right leg up. So I'm keeping that right leg even with my hip. My hips are even, hopefully. <laughs> and I'm flexing that foot. So I'm not just letting my foot hang there and I'm just here. This is very active, pushing through that back heel. Now if you want a little bit more, bringing that left arm up. So my left arm is extended. I have a long line of energy all the way from my left fingertips to my right foot. Through my whole body, my core is engaged. I can feel the strength all in here, working on that core engagement. And now we're gonna do a couple elbow to knees. So we're gonna exhale and bring our elbow to our knee, curl in, and inhale out. If that's too much for balance, put the hand down and crunching elbow or knee to forehead and out. We're going to do five of those and crunch and out and crunch and out and one more crunch and out and bring that left hand down. Bring that right knee down. Good job. All right. Opposite side. Left toes are into the ground. So I'm pushing those left toes strongly into the ground. I'm getting a nice engagement all the way down that back of that left leg. And now I'm going to bring that left leg up. Nice. Hips are even. Now the right arm comes out. Feeling that long line of energy all the way from your fingertips to your heel. And we're going to exhale. Knee to elbow, and out, and two, and out. Remember, you can have the hand down, knee to, out, knee to forehead, and out, and in, and out, and one more in, and out, Woo. <laughs> and bring it down nice and easy. We're going to spread those knees out wide again, big toe mounds to come to touch. This time, we're going to walk those hands about six inches or a foot in front of you. And you're going to let your heart melt towards the ground. Let your forehead melt towards the ground. But my bum's going to stay in the air. 
So instead of child's pose, it's actually puppy dog pose. So my forehead's down. It's okay if it's not. It should feel like a different stretch than the child's pose. Dragging my hands back towards me like claws on the ground. Feeling this nice stretch up my whole spine. You can rock your forehead side to side on the ground if your forehead meets the ground. It's kind of a nice little head massage while you're here. If you want, you could even rock up a little bit. Ah, it feels good. All right, and coming back on up. So, now we're gonna tr transition onto our backs. I am going to have my head facing you so that you can see my legs. And let's see how this goes. So this is where you're gonna, where you can reach it easily. So you don't have to go fumbling for it. All right, we're gonna take a nice, if you plant your feet on the ground, arms out in front of you, you can just lay back or you can get a little bit of extra core work here where we slowly come back one vertebrae at a time. I'm slowly rolling back one vertebrae at a time until I'm laying down on my mat. All right, so here we are. Our, my feet are gonna be the width of my mat. Knees are bent. My arms are out to the side and I'm just gonna start with just doing some gentle windshield wipers. So I'm just letting my knees fall from one side to the other. Just gentle, you don't want to feel any sort of pain here. So if you are feeling any pain, just back off. Just letting them fall side to side. This is a good way to check in with your low back, see what it's doing, see how you're feeling. And let's let both those knees fall to the left. Head's gonna look to the right and I can take that left foot on top of that right knee and give a little extra pull. Not necessary, just an option. And looking over to the right, breathing and just enjoying this twist. And coming through center, let's windshield wiper back and forth a couple times. And letting them drop to the opposite side. Looking over that left shoulder, your right ankle can cross over your left knee if you'd like, or you can just have both the legs over to the side, or you could stack the knee if you'd like. There's a couple different options there. I like the foot over the knee method the best. Ah, breathing here. This is a really great position to tell how different the sides of your body are in your back. <laughs> I always feel it so much more on one side. All right, and coming back through center and letting it fall side to side a bit. All right, so now I'm gonna let my left leg go long on the mat. I'm gonna take my right knee, and I'm gonna bend it into my chest. I'm gonna take my hands, clasp them over my shin, and I'm gonna bring that knee sort of around my rib cage and pulling my knee up towards my armpit. This left leg is super engaged still. It's not just laying there limp. And I'm really pulling tight on this shin, pulling this knee in. This is cutting off some of the blood flow to your leg and then you get a rush back of fresh blood, which is always good to flush out your legs. Breathing here. And now I'm gonna take my left hand on my right shin, my right arm's gonna come to the mat. I'm gonna bring my right knee across my body. I'm gonna look to the right as I give a nice gentle twist here. Don't pull too much, no pain. And coming back through center. Give one more nice pull here. Pulling in nice and tight. 
and reaching for your strap, whatever that strap might look like. We're going to take that strap, we're going to put it around the ball of the right foot as we extend the right foot up to the sky. So I'm going to be choked up on my strap as much as I can to be hanging from my bones and not pulling from my muscles. So I don't want this action going on. I want this. So my foot is extended as straight as it can go. Ah, the more you flex your toes towards your feet, the more intense the stretch is going to be. Shaking is a good thing. So if your leg is shaking, that's fine. We like shaking. We don't like pain, but we do like the good old shake. So just taking some deep breaths here. It's quite a deep stretch. This, this series right here is the one that I feel like helps my low back more than anything. This laying down series right here. Ah, so I'm just taking some deep breaths, flexing those toes back towards my face, really feeling, wow, I'm shaking. Can you see that shake? Yeah, it's good. Woo! Uh, okay, both ends of the strap are gonna go into the right hand. The left hand's gonna come to the top of the left hip. So we're gonna go from here and we're gonna open that leg out to the right hand side. So I'm keeping my left hand on my left hip. I'm not letting that hip come off of the mat. So I'm only opening that leg as far as I can go without getting that left hip up. So the goal is not this, to get down to the ground. See how this left hip just pops right up. I'm keeping that left hip firm and I'm going as far as I can. You don't need to touch the ground. It's okay if you're right here. That's fine. You're just wanting to feel a nice stretch on the inside of your leg. Ah, my left leg still is engaged. I'm breathing deep, feeling this nice opening in the inside of the leg. And I'm going to come through center. I'm going to switch the hand. So I'm going to grab with the left hand. My right hand is going to come to the right hip crease just to hold it down a little. And I'm just going to bring my leg six inches across my body or so. I feel like just the slight across the body. If you want to go further, some people really like this stretch. It's kind of a personal preference here. I like to go just a little bit. I really feel it in that IT band. And then you can take your hand and give some nice hits to that leg. Increasing the blood flow to your leg. Maybe giving some nice punches to your bum, your hip area. Increasing the blood flow. All right, and coming back through center. So we're going to come back through center again. <sighs> again, choking those hands up enough that you are not pulling. You're hanging from those bones and just trying to relax into this. Embracing the shake. <sighs> ah. Some tight hamstrings here. I've been doing lots of walking and lots of dancing, trying to be outside as much as possible. We've been lucky here in Seattle with beautiful weather that's just starting to change today. Whew. Okay, I'm going to bend my left knee so my left foot comes flat to the mat. I'm going to release the strap from that right foot and I'm going to take the right ankle and cross it over the left thigh. So my ankle is crossed over my thigh and then I'm going to bring that position up in the air, take my right hand and go through the hole, take the left hand behind and clasp my hands behind my left thigh. So my foot can be up in the air like this and I could be pulling, I'm pulling my back thigh towards me, pushing, isometrically pushing this right knee away. Now I prefer to bend my left knee and clasp onto my left shin. However, that does take some flexibility. So either way is fine. There's no right or wrong way. My right foot is flexed to protect my knee and I'm isometrically pushing this knee away from me. The more you isometrically push this knee away, the more you are gonna feel that in your hip flexor. And you can rock a little side to side. It's kind of nice, gets it into different spots in your hip. Or you can just stay static. It, 
Either way, it's your own body's way. Whatever feels good for your body today. As my foot is either up or bent, I'm going to do some ankle rolls here. So I'm going to take my ankle and roll it in about five rolls in one direction, five rolls in the opposite direction. You can even be doing that if your knee's bent. All right. So we're going to stay in this position. You're going to let go of that leg. So I'm not holding on anymore. I'm going to bend that knee. And then just listen to this cue. I'm going to roll over onto my left hip as my right foot comes to the ground. So I'm in a twist now, taking my left hand, holding on to my right ankle, and I'm going to look over the right shoulder. So a different sort of twist. Breathing deep in and out of the nose. And coming back on up. Let's take both those legs to the sky and let's just shake them. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. All right. And we're going to move to our other side. So my right leg is going to go long. My left knee is going to bend, clasping my hands around my left shin, bringing that left knee around my rib cage, really pulling in nice and tight. Right leg nice and engaged. Breathing nice and deep here. If you like those anchor rolls and you want more, you could do them here too. Taking that right hand onto the left shin, left arm comes to the mat, bringing that knee across the body, looking to the left, having a nice little twist here. Ooh, if you want, you always can go ahead and give yourself a little extra pat if it's feeling really tight. And let's come back to center, giving a nice tug in again. All right, reaching for that strap. You're gonna take that around the ball of your foot. And again, choking up, so I'm hanging from my bones, not pulling with my muscles, and just arriving here. So we know the drill. The more you flex your toes towards your face, the deeper the stretch. You really want this strap on the ball of your foot. So not on the heel back here. You want it up on the front part all around the ball. And just really relaxing into this. I know it's kind of crazy to say relax into this because it's a pretty intense stretch, but just trying to do nothing except breathe. Generally, I like to hold stretches for either I like to do a stretch five times in a row or hold it for five breaths. All right, both ends of the strap into the left hand. Right hand comes to the top of the right hip, and we're going to open that leg out to the left. So I'm only going as far as uh, I can go without lifting that right hip up. And in this one, it's kind of okay to pull with your muscles a little bit more. It's kind of harder to just hang from your bones when it's off to the side. So you can be sort of pulling those toes back towards you. Keeping that foot nice and flexed. All right, coming up through the center and we're gonna to go to across the body. So the strap's gonna change into my right hand. I'm gonna come slightly across the body. I'm gonna take that left hand and I'm gonna wake up that thigh 
that glute region, punching my glute with a fist, open thumb outside, and then open hand slap on the leg. Get that blood flowing. All right, come back through center. And let's just revisit this for another deep five breaths. All right, bend that right knee, right foot flat to the mat. Take your strap, put it off to the side. We're done with that now. Crossing that left ankle over the right thigh and bringing that into the air, reaching through that space that we've made, taking the hands, clasping them behind the right thigh as I'm pushing my left knee away from me. Again, you can bend that knee if you'd like. It's just all about the isometric pushing of that knee away. So I am going to rock a little bit. Feels nice, flexing that foot. Both feet are flexed. And I'm taking that right ankle and I'm doing some rolls with it now. So five in one direction and five in the other direction. And just letting that stretch you can roll that ankle if you want. You can go side to side. You could just be static and right here, just pushing that knee away. All right, I'm gonna let go of my legs, bend that knee, let the foot fall towards the ground, and I'm gonna roll onto that right hip, keeping that position at my feet. My left foot's gonna come flat to the ground. I'm gonna take my right hand, grabbing for that left foot, or the left knee or the left thigh or the left shin, wherever, your body's way, looking off to the left. All right, coming back through center, both the legs up to the sky, and let's shake them out again. Shake, 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 shake. Getting that lactic acid moving around, all that fresh blood. All right, so you can stay how you are. I'm just going to show you what we're doing on the side. So I'm going to have my feet on the mat, uh, hip width distance apart, and I'm going to try and reach for my heels with my fingertips. So that's the distance you want your heels to be away from your bum. And we're gonna do some rolling bridges. What that means is that my hips are gonna come up to the sky and as my hips come up to the sky, my arms are also gonna reach up to the sky. When I reach the top of that bridge, my arms are gonna to touch the ground as my hips are at the highest point. And then I'm gonna slowly roll down one vertebrae at a time with my hips and my arms at the same speed and then coming down to the bottom. We're gonna do five of those. So, setting yourself up, we're gonna inhale up, peeling that back one vertebrae at a time up to the sky as our arms extend overhead. Taking a big breath here. And then exhale, rolling down one vertebrae at a time as my arms come down at the same pace. Hitting the bottom. And then inhaling back up again, peeling that back up off the ground, one vertebrae at a time, extending at the top. And then exhale, rolling down one vertebrae at a time, arms coming down. Let's do three more like that. Inhaling up. I'm really pushing into my feet and I'm pushing my knees forward and exhaling down one vertebrae at a time. Two more like that. Inhaling up. And exhaling down. And one more. Inhaling up. 
This time we're going to keep our arms here as we roll down. One vertebrae at a time. Coming to lay flat on your mat. Arms are overhead. Legs are long. And we're just going to reach through the right hand and the right foot longer than the left. So I'm extending through the right side of my body on the ground. And then let's go through the left side of the body, extending through those left fingertips and through the left heel. Long side stretch. And coming through the center, my arms are going to come up overhead, nice and slow. My knees are going to come into my chest. My arms are going to come and give my, my shins a hug. So I'm giving myself a nice hug here, rocking side to side. You could just be holding your shins if it's too much to hold your arms over your shins. And now we're going to go into a nice tight ball. So as tight of a ball as you can. I want you to squeeze everything. I want you to squeeze your fingers, squeeze your arms, squeeze your shoulders, squeeze your face and your eyes and your mouth and your toes and squeeze every single muscle in your body, making yourself as tight as possible. And now let it all go and bloom like a flower, letting yourself calm down letting everything release to the ground. My feet are open. My feet are spread up out. My arms are down by my sides. Palms up to the sky. Closing your eyes. And relaxing Shavasana. This is the final pose of our practice this morning. The pose of just doing nothing. Laying here and letting all of the stretch that we did incorporate into our body. You can let your breathing return to normal. Try not to think about it anymore. Try to let yourself just completely relax. You can lay here for as long as you'd like. For purpose of the video, I'm going to move on. I'm going to take myself and I'm going to roll onto my right side in the fetal position. Good. Hands come through the heart center. Let's do one more like that. Inhaling up to the sky and exhaling through heart center. We're going to bow our chin to our chest, closing our eyes, thanking ourselves for moving this morning, taking care of our bodies in this way. I thank you so much for joining me. I hope you all have an excellent day. So hopefully we'll see you out on the water. Come sail with me on the legacy. All right. Thanks so much. Have a great day.